In the last session, we had learned about the importance of our skeletal system. We had started this chapter. In this session, we are going to study different parts of skeletal system and we are also going to study functions of skeletal system. So, let us start. So, as I said, today we are going to learn about different parts of our skeleton and also the functions of skeleton. So let us begin with part number two. To begin with, the first part is the backbone or the spine. The skull is attached to the backbone which forms the main axis of the skeleton. It is made up of 33 small bones called vertebrae which forms a strong column called vertebral column. Remember that the vertebral column protects the delicate spinal cord which is inside it. So it is very important. Next is rib cage. There are 12 pairs of bow shaped ribs which forms the cage. It looks like this and encloses the heart and the lungs which are also very important part of human body. So, this is like a shield for these important organs. The ribs are delicate curved bones which are joined to the backbone and the breastbone. So, this is the breast, this is the breastbone and just behind it there is a backbone. And these ribs are attached at both the ends, at one end to the breastbone and at other end to the backbone. The lowest two pairs are the floating ribs because here they are joined only to the backbone and not to the breastbone. The second or third important part is the limbs. In human body, there are two pairs of limbs. First one, four limbs. Here, these are four limbs. And just below it, here, there are hind limbs. Or you can also call them as legs. So these are legs. Or hind limbs and these are arms or four limbs. Now talking about four limbs the bones of shoulder or the pectoral girdle are attached to our backbone. The four limbs can be divided into upper arm this is upper arm and the forearm which is over here. The upper arm of the body extends from the shoulder to the elbow. The upper arm extends from shoulder, this is shoulder, it extends until elbow and provides a strength for pulling and lifting. So the upper arm, it provides us the strength to pull and lift some things. Then next part, the forearm is the part of the forelimb between the wrist and the elbow. So this is your forearm, this is between, it extends from elbow until wrist so this is wrist the muscles in the forearm helps the wrist to extend rotate and flex so whatever actions that our wrist do that is because of the muscles in the forearm hand includes five fingers so this is hand and it includes five fingers that allow humans to do much more complicated tasks like writing like uh, drawing so these are very complicated tasks and our fingers help to do this then comes the hind limbs over here hind limbs as we all know at the bottom at the bottom of the backbone there are flat bones which form uh, the pelvic girdle our leg bones are connected to the pelvic girdle so this is a, your pelvic girdle the leg consists of the upper leg, knee, lower leg, ankle and foot. So this is your upper leg, this is your knee, this is lower leg, ankle and foot. The biggest bone which is the thigh bone, it is also called as a femur. This femur is a thigh bone which is the largest bone in our body. Then the base of the femur which is over here makes up the part of the knee. The knee is a part like hinge joint, the largest joint that connects the bones in the upper leg to the lower leg. So this is very important, especially for walking. The lower leg has two bones. So this over here and at the back there is one. So there are two bones in the lower leg. The ankle and the foot contains 26 bones. 
so how many bones does ankle and the foot contain the ankle and the foot contain over here it contains 26 different kind of bones the long bones of the skeleton are hollow and are filled with a soft fatty substance called a bone marrow so all the long, long bones including your uh, femur are hollow and they are filled with a soft fatty substance called as a bone marrow bone marrow is a flexible tissue in the interior of the bone so inside the bone which is hollow there is a bone marrow it is nothing but a soft flexible tissue in human body the red blood cells and white blood cells they are produced by bone marrow so bones they are also a factory of blood because the red blood cells and white blood cells which are important ingredients of the blood they are produced inside the bones so not only does the bone give you structure but they also produce blood for you students what if our skeleton decides to take a holiday to have some fun time in that case we would no more look like this instead we would look like this now you can imagine how important the skeleton is so the bones of the skeleton gives the shape strength and support to our body the, they protect various internal organs of the body like brain eyeballs spinal cord lungs heart urinary bladder etc etc so almost all the important organs which are there in our body they are protected by our skeletal system muscles are attached to the bones and make movement possible so bones with the help of muscle make the movement possible white blood cells and red blood cells which are the important ingredients of the blood are produced by bone marrow so this is also possible because of the bones note that wbc which is white blood cells these fight the foreign organisms that invade our body so all the microorganisms like bacteria or viruses when they enter our body this wbc they act like army for our body they fight against them so that was all for today now let us see some homework you have to do fill in the blanks you have to solve them the first is the vertebral column protects the delicate dash second the lowest two pairs called dash the lowest two pairs of what the rib cage i forgot to mention here it should be rib cage the lowest two pairs of the rib cage are called dash okay then third the dash is the largest bone in the body fourth the ankle and the foot contains dash bones and fifth dash and dash are produced by the bone marrow in the hollow bones so these are the fill in the blanks that you can try out at home and they are easy because we have already discussed these points if you watch the video carefully you will be able to answer all these questions so that was all for today thanks for attending this session see you during next session with a new topic until then take care bye bye